Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about rat runs or catwalks. This is the board that nails on the bottom cord of the truss to make sure that your trusses are spaced properly for when they screw drywall on. So let's get to it. So you can see these catwalks behind me here, or rat runs, whatever you want to call them. Now they're to hold the trusses at the right spacing so that it's easier to sheetrock it. Now we like to see these about every 10 feet through the trusses. That's if they're not on a load bear wall that's already holding them in the right place. So right after you set your roof trusses, you're putting these catwalks in so that it holds your trusses in the right place. So we're gonna show you how to mark out the first catwalk that goes up tight to the gable. So if we're marking out this catwalk here, let's say we got five gable, or let's say we got five trusses set up there. We got our gable on the end. We got five trusses inset. Now for, we're gonna mark this out. And honestly, it's easiest to mark it out on the side because then you can see the line touching the truss. So we're gonna plan to butt this up to the sheeting on the outside of the gable so that this is flush with the outside of the gable. So our first mark most of the time is gonna be at 23 and a quarter. That's your three quarter drop so that your sheeting lands on your trusses. So we'll make a mark here and we'll just keep going down the line making our three quarter drop. This makes sure all of our trusses are two foot on center. Now you can put a bunch of these together and excluding that first one because it's a weird spacing for the gable, you can just stack a bunch of these together and trace the marks with your square. Then you can just throw all these boards in, put them on the spacing and nail them off. Now the tricky part is when you have weird spacing in the trusses. Three of these trusses up here are shifted three quarters of an inch. So I would just mark this out like normal. And then I know on those trusses when I'm nailing them in, based on looking at the truss plan layout, the roof truss layout, I would know to shift that over. I can make measure up there and nail it in. So here's an example of the catwalk butting into the sheeting on the front of the gable. So we have 23 and a quarter to our mark here, and that's where we nail the truss. Then from there, it's two foot on center. You can also see behind me, about 10 feet back, we have another catwalk. We do about every 10 feet so that the trusses stay on their spacing. Now, a lot of the times you'll have a peaked gable. So you'll have two sides, two pitches coming up to a peak. And you'll always put that catwalk right in the center so that you can do your angle brace off of your catwalk to plumb the center of the gable. Now, as long as you have a catwalk in the center of your gable, that 10 foot rule on each side, you can fudge it a little bit. Sometimes we'll even go up to 15 feet if we have a 30 foot wide garage and the trusses are pretty straight on that bottom cord. Here's an example of the catwalk in the middle of this gable truss with a diagonal brace coming off of it to plumb that gable right there. So we had to turn a board on its side in order to hit the, this gable truss because these bottom cords are two by sixes. So sometimes you have to get a little creative to make sure this catwalk ties into the gable. So when you're installing your catwalks, make sure you're moving your trusses to the marks you put on the board so that it stays on layout. Sometimes it can be tricky if the trusses change. Just always think about which side of the truss you're pulling from and always look at the roof truss layout so that you know you're putting your trusses where they need to go. If you guys got any value out of this video, subscribe to our channel because we're doing a video about every skill it takes to frame a quality house.